Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel, where we provide WordPress tutorials that everyone can get through for the non-techies all the way through the developer. Today, we're going to talk about a new product in the WordPress space called the Store Builder by Nexus. I'll walk you through how to set up an account, walk you through what it is, what it does, and who it's for. So let's get into it. All right, so Store Builder by Nexus. Just a little bit of history. Nexus is owned by Liquid Web or Liquid Web Brands. You may have heard of Liquid Web themselves as a host. So this is liquidweb.com and they provide cloud and web hosting. At the bottom of the site, they kind of have a summary of their brands. So you can see at the very bottom here, Liquid Web, the hosting platform. Then we have Nexus, which is cloud hosting optimized for digital commerce, which is what we're going to get into. And then someone fairly new to the block is Stellar WP, which is kind of just a conglomerate of plugins that they've added to their services. If we head over to Stellar WP, um, which you may not have heard of, but you may have heard of all these great plugins or services, iThemes, uh, generally known for their iThemes security, the events calendar, uh, which is a calendar plugin we use uh, quite often, both the free one and the pro. Restrict Content Pro is a membership plugin. Uh, one, another one I use is GiveWP for donations for nonprofits. This one is excellent. Uh, Iconic WP I haven't used, and then Learn Dash is absolutely fantastic. I've actually been using this almost on a daily basis recently. So if you have any questions about these, please do let me know. But let's head on back to uh, Nexus. So Nexus has a product called the Store Builder. And essentially what this is, is it's a product that allows you to quickly and easily build a WooCommerce store without any of the technical aspects of building a WordPress e-commerce e store. It's simply a matter of signing up filling out certain things and launching live. What's great about this is you own the product, you have complete control over it, and you know where you stand as far as your budget. Compared to shops like Wix or Shopify, this one is much cheaper and easier to use, and we'll walk you through it. So you can try it risk-free for 30 days, which is great. Um, you know, you own, the site itself, you're not renting it from other people. They offer powerful connections, which we'll get through. So MailChimp newsletters and a bunch of other stuff they've added. ShipStation, which allows you to do shipping for physical products and get discounts, even if you're the little guy, which is nice. HubSpot and Stripe, uh, which allows you to process credit card payments. Um, I like this, you own your content and you're not renting it from e-commerce overlords. I think that's great upfront pricing and super fast hosting since it's built into the product. They do have a comparison here comparing to other shops. Um, I know a few stores that have gone to Squarespace. A lot of people, you know, they start on Wix and they grow out of it and go to WordPress itself. Um, I think if you're looking to do that, Store Builder is an excellent way to do it or just to start here uh, when you do get started. Uh, for starter stores, I think this is big at $19 a month. We get a lot of phone calls asking for, you know, custom WooCommerce shops for maybe people that are starting out either in an Etsy style shop or have a few products. And it's hard to swallow the numbers typically in the thousands for custom building WooCommerce shops. And so $19 a month is uh, fairly cheap. And then transaction fees. Uh, this is another one. This is great that they don't charge that. You can customize your store, you get ownership, uh, free trial, which I really like, which I'll walk you guys through, and more. You get a blog, automatic site, email, and security and compliance. I think it sounds pretty good, so let's jump into it. So I'll click try the risk-free uh, sign up. I'm jumping into it for the first time, so let's just see how it goes. Um, I'll hide my email. Um, so let's see, let's do this. Are you building your site for yourself? Yep. How comfortable are you building? 
So that's it. And then you click finalize my store now. All right, and it brings me to this page. And we get to see a little bit more in the pricing. So this little coupon guy jumps up in my videos. This is Honey. Um, it has coupons, we'll see if it works. Um, I do have an affiliate link for this, so if it's helpful, I'll link it down below and in the video. It's pressavenue.com slash store builder. Sorry, slash refer slash store builder. Uh, we'll um, basically let you support this channel without any additional cost to you. And I may or may not get a kickback based on when you sign up. So we're finishing up the coupons and I says I saved 19 bucks. Uh, one month free discount. Oh, that's kind of nice. And I got that anyway, because it's a 30 day discount. So I'm going to fill this out with my information and I'm going to pause it and then we'll jump back in as I don't want you to also buy your access with my credit card information. All right, success. So I basically went in, created an account. You put an email and a password and you click create account. You save your billing information as well as a credit or debit card. And then it also asks you your server location. Now I'm in the USA and they had two choices, Lansing, Michigan, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting actually. And then San Jose, California. So I actually chose Lansing, Michigan. And then a pop-up says your store is being built and it flashes to this page. And it says success, your store builder site is being created. We're spinning up your new store on the fastest, most secure WordPress platform on the web. Good thing it takes two to eight minutes. Let's see, you can wait here for your login credentials or go grab a coffee and check your email and we'll send you a link to your store when it's ready. So it's creating it right now um, as I record this. Then it says, let's see, after you've logged in, we've made it easy to get your store ready for business. So we can set up a username and password, add basic information about our business, sounds great. We can grab one of our beautiful starter themes. I'll check that out and show that to you as well. We'll add a product. I'll add, uh, I guess, some digital products and see how it goes. Payments and shipping, shipping emails, payments, get everything hooked up and safe. So there we go. I'm going to pause it. I'm actually going to definitely go grab a drink and we will see how long this takes. All right, so it was created. It took exactly, I think, eight minutes, like the email says, two to eight minutes. They sent me two emails, a purchase receipt, and then a link to get to this dashboard. I clicked it and here I am. Um, pretty good looking dashboard. It shows I have no support tickets. I don't owe anything and I don't have any credit. Um, this is my WooCommerce store with the username and password. There's blog posts and then scheduled maintenance all in one, which is actually really nice to see. Uh, over on plans, I have one plan, uh, the one I just signed up for. And if I go to create plan, you can actually see all the pricing uh, for a WooCommerce store. So if you go here, we see we're on a monthly plan. The starter is 19 a month. I get one site, three sites for 79. Um, but you get more disk space and more bandwidth because you'll say, well, why not just get three starter sites? Uh, merchant, you get five sites. I think this would be great for businesses that have multiple stores or agencies as well. 100 gigs of gift disk space, bandwidth, unlimited email accounts across the board, 10, 20, 30. And you'll see the pricing here annually. Uh, let's see, does much change? Oh, you get two months for free and save 15%. So that's, I think that's really good stuff and you can select and change. Moving on. So we'll go back. Sites, it'll show the site that I'm using. Again, username and password. I'm not gonna show the password, but you just click that eyeball. And we're using WooCommerce. Uh, billing, support, and then show more. Has SSL, which is great. Everyone needs one of those. And then DNS as well, all in one. So kind of a simple dashboard up on the user menu. Ooh, we have quite a bit. Account settings profile, two-factor auth, which is fantastic. API keys, refer, address, announce, announcement, knowledge library. Uh, absolutely great. So I'm gonna click site dashboard and I have shell access with credentials, FTP access. What else we got? 
Oh, this is all really good. IP address, etc. Backups. Oh, we can create a full backup of the site manually or daily. Really nice. Analytics shows me my disk space. Bandwidth, CPU use, usage. It's actually a lot of stuff for a kind of simpler product, if you will. We can do a staging site and dev site. Absolutely great. Email, local email, webmail. Oh, this is great. Visual comparison. Occasionally updating a plugin will cause a problem. Yep, that's good to have. And then domain names, finally. So there's a lot of stuff here, and I can probably dig into this a lot further in future videos. And if there is something you do want to see, please let me know in the comments below, and I can dig into this and show you. So let's click Enter WordPress. I need my username and password. So here's my username. Boop. And here's my password. Warning, this password can only be viewed a limited number of times. Once the limit has been met, the cancer can be removed and not be able to retrieve it. Please make sure to save it. Oh, that's pretty cool. View. So there's my password. Copy. Paste. Log in. And then let's see. So it's a really, really long password. So here we are finally into the store builder itself. So first it was the Nexus dashboard for the store builder, kind of the back end if you will, for the server dashboard. And now we're on the front or the setup for the store builder itself. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little cause I'm on a huge monitor so you can read it. So welcome, a few basic details about your store. You can skip these and come back at any time. Let's get started. There's my URL, username, choose a password. I think I'll just use this one. Bam, yep, that's strong. Uh, username, we'll just do Press Avenue, why not? Next, site name, Press Avenues Digital Storefront. Let's say Store Builder, since that's what we're doing. Let's say Amazing Digital Products. A logo, I guess we'll go ahead and add it. Let's see, we'll go back, logos, press avenue. Where's the square one? This guy right here. All right, next, we'll need your address. We'll say one, two, three, main street, optional. I'll just fill it all in so everyone knows how this stuff looks. I'm in Colorado. Well, let me search for Colorado. I take USD, but it takes, it looks like pretty much every kind of currency. Um, I'm gonna sell digital goods on this one. Maybe even services. How many products do you have? We'll say one to 10 to start. Nice, let's keep going. Save and continue to configure your sites, design, payment options, shipping, and more. Again, if there's anything you wanna see, please do let me know and I can do a deeper dive into it, but we are gonna fully set this store up. All right, so that part's set up. Next, design your site, and it says three whole minutes. So select a starter template. Let's get started. Oh, some pretty good ones off the bat. Camping, what do we got? Kind of a t-shirt print one, soap products. I like the look of a lot of these. I'm gonna kind of, I think I'll go towards this one here. So I'll click preview. I have big bold letters. I like menus like that. Oh yeah, this looks great. Uh, this is what it looks like on tablet and on mobile. Or I can go back. Let's see, coffee. I like coffee too. Single product. Oh, let's see, handmade soaps. Oh man, how can I decide I'm under pressure here? I actually kind of like this one too. Oop. Two day shipping, I think I'll do this one. So choose a font, oh man, this could take me forever. So if I change it, oh, it changes on the fly, that's great. I'll do this one. Next, oh, color palette, all right. 
So what if I do red, since we have red in our logo, and then to custom, so you just click the palette, okay, so you can't customize through, which is actually fine. We'll go next. This is what we look like. This is great. I mean, it's really fast. Now you got to remember, with a lot of the themes, you might not be selling coffee, and I'm definitely not. You might be selling digital products. So just know you can change out the images that are there with your own images or images you've gotten off the web. I like unsplash.com, which has royalty-free images that you can use commercially with or without credit. That's up to you. And I'll put a link to that below. And we will wait as this um, builds. All right. So you saw that process there. It was maybe a minute, just a little bit less of a minute. Painful waiting for a whole minute. Um, but I think it's actually quite fast. And now we're officially in the WordPress dashboard. So you see the familiar bar across the top. Things that are a little bit different. We have the Nexus um, logo here. We can dump the cache and transients. Here's another site cache. This says it's production, which is great. I'm assuming the staging would then say staging here. And then my admin name up here as well. Um, and then it brings us straight to this setup instead of the dashboard. So again, we've done set up your site, design your site. We can change the template if we want. Configure your payments. So we can connect to Stripe or PayPal. So we'll do Stripe. Um, PayPal's not bad. I know a lot of people have been burned by PayPal or they hold your money forever. So I always do Stripe. So create or connect your account. Sounds good. Let's see, how do I log in? Get started with Stripe. Continue, log in. And that was one password if you're wondering what it is. And I will say press Avenue and we will continue. So basically I already have a stripe.com account that's fully set up with my bank. It's very easy. Um, it's been a while since I've set one up, but really under 20 minutes, you can get totally set up taking credit cards immediately. So I enable Stripe. We are going to do credit card. I don't need a test mode. All right, payouts may be disabled for this account until missing information. Update now. Okay, I'll do that later. I need a webhook for this to work properly. So this is a big thing that a lot of people miss with Stripe. So I copy this guy. Copy. I click here, it brings me to my Stripe account. And then I have a couple endpoints. Click add endpoint. I paste this in here. Description, I typically put the date. So today is May 11th. I put May 11th and I say I added it because, you know, Store Builder is requesting it, etc. So a year from now or whenever, or when someone else is looking at it, they say, oh, do we actually need this endpoint? And they say no, and then they ax it, and then your store doesn't work. So let's see what events it wants. Enable this one, enable you to receive notification. Add the following endpoint to your Stripe account if there isn't one already. All right. So add it, add, must select event. I think select all. Yep, add. Do, do, do. Add. Done. Refresh. All right, maybe it doesn't like how I added it. So we will wait and check back on that. Next, enable payments via saved cards. That's up to your account. Enable a separate credit card form. Issue authorization capture later. That's great. Um, on the bank statement, so this is based on what you put in your Stripe account and then pulls it in. It'll say Press Avenue LLC and then add custom order number to bank statement. Oh, that's great. Okay, I don't need that. I'll hit save. All right, so that's Stripe. And again, this is, we're within WooCommerce. So if you've seen WooCommerce before, that's where I am. Now in the initial setup, I filled out a form and now it's inputted into WooCommerce automatically. If I go back to setup, let's see, configure payment, configure PayPal. Next we have add product. So let's add a new product. 
And if you already have Woo, um, or if you've used it in the past, this will be very familiar. Also, before Gutenberg, this is what the WordPress editor looked like with a title and a body and then some information below and you hit publish. So we will call this, uh, let's see, Press Avenues, I don't know, digital download. And this is my description about my amazing digital download. All right, so this is a, and this is all WooCommerce here, and we can do a whole WooCommerce course. But I'll say this is 10 bucks, and then there you can do a short description and more, a product image, I don't know. Let's see, let's skip that and go to publish and just see what this looks like automatically. View product, same, put a lot of detail in, but you just wanna show you how fast this is. So here we are, we're at Press Avenue's Digital Store Builder, which was the title I gave it initially. You can see the theme that I chose. Um, it was this mini speaker. If I go to shop now, does it bring me to the shop? Buy now. So I have to link all these menus, which is fine. I actually expected that. So here's my digital product. Let's go to shop. Does that have it in here? So it has a lot of demo stuff, which is also fine as you can change it out very easily. So you can see here, I didn't put a picture, but I will. Um, yeah, I can change the quantity. I actually really like the layout of this. It's actually pretty fast. Title, you can see I can pay with GPay. I can add it to the cart. It says your product's been added to the cart. And this is all WooCommerce, which is fine and great because I didn't have to do much to get this all set up. It's already injected in the template and there's no custom code, etc. All right, so I go to view cart and everything is styled really nicely within this theme. All right, uh, other things I wanna show you, as you can see on the left-hand side, it is a kind of different um, WordPress setup because it's exclusively just for this uh, store builder product on top of WordPress, of course. The site dashboard, this is gr absolutely great. I wish WordPress would do this. It shows our WooCommerce stats, it tells us we should go live and what we need to do, and then it offers up support. Doesn't have any silly news or other things that plugins jam in here. Um, updates are then here, and this looks you know, like your typical WordPress setup. If I go to the Nexus, it shows me I can get support, what plan I'm on, let's see, priority pages, WooCommerce automated testing, and settings, enable Stellar plugin integration. Oh, that's great. Uh, other things on here, what do we have? Page cache, uh, quite a few options. I'm not gonna read through them. Feel free to pause and read them yourself. But again, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Installed plugins. Oh, wow. WooCommerce is unique. All right. Well, I guess we just click a plugin and we get it. I don't know, let's see. Oh, so many choices. I guess we'll do Yoast, very popular. Oh yeah, so you select one and you hit go. So you get iTheme Security Pro, which is incredible. Uh, Cadence, which will be fun. Elementor, Beaver Builder Standard. Uh, these are really great. Ninja Forms, Forms Lite. Uh, custom Product Tabs for WooCommerce, this one's great too. And then just click Install, and we'll see what happens. Just get the little wheel here where it's spinning. And I guess it installs it from two plugins installed. This is absolutely great. This is worth it right here. What a lot of people don't realize with WooCommerce is when you start adding all these other plugins, you know, Elementary are at 99, or I think 199 a year for everything. Beaver Builder, you know, another 100. iTheme Security, another 100. It really stacks up quickly. For 20 bucks a month, um, you definitely can't get any of these. Next setup, we've covered content. We have posts, media, and pages. So under pages, it has all the WooCommerce pages and then any additional pages that you want to add, uh, which could be you know, an about you page, about your services, what you're all about. Under store, we have products, analytics, and settings. Everything's been simplified, which I really like into these dropdowns. WordPress should take uh, note of this for sure. 
Let's see, under site, we have appearance. Let's take a look at that. So we have the cadence theme, and then we can also add any other theme, which is great. Um, starter templates. So here are our templates here. And then also has the drop down, yep, for Elementor or Gutenberg. Really good stuff. We'll go to plugins. Oh, we can see them all. So you can deactivate or delete. Oh, you can turn on a CDN, CDN, Content Delivery Network. So if I don't want Spotlight, I can turn it off. Oh, and I can straight delete. So a lot of flexibility with this. Um, and then video tutorials. Oh, great. This is, yeah, WordPress 101 tutorials. Um, this is absolutely fantastic for anyone who's jumping into WordPress. I know I'm blasting through these dashboards, and it's because I've been using WordPress for quite some time. But what's really nice about WordPress 101 is, one, you don't have to buy any of these videos, which is an option for people to do. It actually includes it. And the WooCommerce videos, so you have 35 WooCommerce videos. I went through Stripe, but this is how to connect to the Stripe gateway within four minutes for someone not watching this video, but actually just jumping into the store builder itself. Well, that's a good kind of overview of Store Builder. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comments below. Again, if you'd like to support this channel, I have an affiliate link to the Store Builder, which comes at no additional cost to you and may or may not support me depending on how you sign up. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate all the feedback and comments I've been getting through the year on various videos, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.